please recount the story of uh, your first lesson in irrationality in Paris, 1941, early 42, German occupied, you're Jewish, you have wear the Star of David. Tell us what happened as a young child. Well, um, I was a seven-year-old boy, and there was a curfew for Jews, and indeed I had my sweater with the Star of David on it. Um, and I stayed too long with a friend, and I was past my, the curfew time. And so I put my sweater upside down, and I walked home. And very close to home, I, mean, I still remember the place. It's, it's in Neuilly, uh, near, you know, it's a suburb of Paris. Uh, I saw a German soldier walking towards me, and he was wearing the black uniform. And black uniforms meant a lot. I mean, that was, those were the SS. They were the worst of the worst. Uh, and so I knew that one should be afraid of them. And, and then he beckoned me. He called me, and I, I went up to him, and he picked me up. And I remember very vividly that, you know, being terrified that he would see inside my sweater that uh, I was wearing the Star of David, and then he hugged me, and he put me down, and he took out his wallet, and he showed me a picture of a little boy, and, and he gave me some money. Uh, so that was a father, and I reminded him of his son. And, and it's, I remember sort of the astonishment, the complexity of it. You know, I was a seven-year-old boy, but that's, you know, that was telling you that life was very complicated if killers could behave like that. The rest of your story, as you've uh, said, yours had a relatively benign outcome, but moving in France and how your father was arrested and then sprung out. Well, my, my father uh, was the chief of chemical research in a large French concern. In fact, I mean, it, was, it was part of L'Oréal, and uh, which is very well known these days. And he was protected during the war to the extent possible. He was picked up and sent to Drancy, the famous uh, place where Jews were sent and ultimately from where very few people returned. But he was released and it turned out that was through the intervention of a man named Schweller. Very complicated story, I don't remember the detail. I never knew the detail, but it involved some. German officer and a woman who was in love with him and all sorts of things. And, but many years later, I learned that Schwiller, uh, whose daughter is famous, she is uh, the richest person in France, actually. Uh, uh, Schwiller had been the main funder of the fascists in France before the war. And it was a virulently anti-Semitic movement. But he liked my father, and he protected us to the extent he could. We got packages of food from them throughout the war, even after my father died. Amazing. So uh, you learned at an early age that uh, the human mind is not a simple thing. Definitely. 